Right, well, we have made it to Germany. Germany. Yeah. Yes. Go on. Yeah. It's only been a, a very quick journey. 9 p.m. yesterday evening, Stephen picked me up in uh, Twickenham, <laughs> where the old yuppies live, and it's now 3.30 p.m. the next, the very next day. We've had, right, anyway, we've had a long, quite an arduous journey. Guten Morgen. Guten Morgen. <laughs> <laughs> where are we? Tell you where we are. We are nearly 24 hours away from home and we're nowhere near there yet. We are in Germany. Went a bit wrong with the old train, they wouldn't let us on it. So we've had a few flip flops, but the guys have welcomed us. We've got a nice big peg. I haven't got a clue what the lake's called, but we've been assured there's quite a lot of big fish in it. So They've had a couple, haven't they? They've so had a 23 kilo fish. We're going to fish... The, I'm talking the guy <laughs> to the right had a 23 kilo. So I might go on the right. We'll wait and see. Oh, we've, got, we've only got 48 hours, have we? Pretty we've got about 36 hours 30. is all we've got. Yeah, so as Ian said, we've arrived. Time to get the van unloaded and have a look what's out there in the pond. Hopefully we can bag one because it'll make that journey home a lot more in well not enjoyable but it just be oh, where you going better after the long drive Ian and I wasted no time getting set up and the rods out with news of the guy to our right having caught a couple of chunks Ian slotted himself into pole position on the right hand side what's going on then you've caught me I might put a third one out, but I probably might have just wrapped it up just in case. Is that, <laughs> does that make sense? It does. I'm going to put three out because we can. And I think it's silly if you don't. We're only here for tonight and tomorrow night. We're off early Wednesday morning. So really, we need to maximise our chances of one of these 25 kilo fish. So that is going out there in a minute with another bit of yellow one. You should do the same, Steve. Well, not only did I drive in all the way out here, I've just cooked him up a delicious, fresh spaghetti bolognese. I've even chucked his rods out as well. And what have, what, what have you done? Mate, hear me out, right, Steve? Because we've Go done on, this. I'm listening, I'm listening. You're listening? Yeah. Right, I'll tell you what I've done, right? I have come on this pilgrimage to Germany with you to keep you awake for the 19 hours it's taken us to get to Germany, <laughs> which it should have really took us about 12. So I have kept you awake with my wit, which in turn has kept you alive. You're no longer yeah, I, at being I, upside down in a ditch in your crappy little bed. Yeah, I did almost kill us twice. You didn't, did you? Well, I didn't tell you about that. Was I, that, <laughs> that was when I you, 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 were, you were catching flies, you were. <laughs> <laughs> you were, keeping, you were keeping me awake with your snoring. <laughs> <laughs> But no, right, so give us a little update. What what have you done? You've got a couple of rods out there now. What What's happened since we've been here? Oh, I'm talking to you now, mate. You, you just told me you nearly killed Are you going to clean my plate up oh, as well? No, you do oh, your own, mate. Good job I ate out of your pan. Isn't it? Yeah, you can clean that at all, mate. <laughs> um, what we've done is had a quick letter round. The lads have been here since Saturday, the German um, crew. <laughs> and they've had, a, they've had a dozen fit. We like that. <laughs> there, was a, there was a substantial pause there. Yeah, there was a, you know, <laughs> I was going to say consultants, but crews are good bunkers, there's quite a few of them. Um, they've had a dozen fish between them, up to just under 50 pounds. They've offered us boats, but we've decided to do it because we're stubborn English, you know what I mean? A bit of trammage, three on a around. spot. I've got three rods Oxford style, bump closer than I can get, which probably means about 40 foot apart. Yeah, yeah, it's, not quite, it's not quite OX29, it's more like. Bambury way. Go to your room and don't <laughs> until I call you. Uh, and we've got we've got uh, we've got plastic corn on them and little uh, well, you have, yellow we, not we, yeah. pineapple and bananas. <laughs> yeah, he's got solid bags. But and I'll spread uh, some crushed up monster tiger nut twelve millers that have been soaked for ages in Steve's van that I chored and yeah, he stole them all my bait as well. Across an area, twenty one and a half wraps out in line with that little yellow bush on the far margin. And we'll see. Most of their bites have been throughout the night or that early morning period. We'll see, won't we? Final dinner was lovely. Final question: Are you going to sleep well tonight? Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> hey, I, I don't want to tempt. But I, I, I should feel I'm almost comatose. We're so tired. Try sleeping in the cab with him in an uncomfortable little van. 
Well, we've eaten now, rods are out, and uh, yeah, about time we go and socialize with the Germans. What have we got here? Ah, a little bit of German goulash. Tastes very good, my friend. So yeah. it looks good. So who's made this then? This guy is responsible for this. Yeah, nice it looks good. Look at that. Ah. Uh, how long has that been cooking for today? About six hours. Six hours, six slow six cook. Hours, yeah. Tradi long. Traditional German food? Yeah. 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 Let's go. Well, I already had dinner, but I couldn't resist having a bit of that with that view as well. Come on the car. Well, there it is, my first German carp, and we're only a few hours into darkness. I'm absolutely over the moon to have this one, and this one was taken on a solid bag with a little tiger nut wafter at extreme range. I had two on the baited spot, but I just had to chuck one long after seeing one show, and uh, it's resulted in this. As I said, absolutely over the moon, first German carp, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to get a couple more on the bank. So hopefully this is the start of things to come. But yeah, what a start this quick session in Germany. Bit of first night success for us both. Yes mate. Granted your one is slightly bigger. bigger. <laughs> I am on about the car. Well, uh, I, would, I would like to think you would be, huh? Yeah mate, it's like a missile this one. This. Flat so, one. so long isn't it? Steve, behave yourself <laughs> sir. Um, this flat rod would be for about 50 blooming yards this one. What you what's your what you reckon then? Hello. Thirty three. Something like that, yeah. So I'd say she's thirty pounds. I'll let you do the reading. Right. Oh. <laughs> it's more than that. <laughs> you know what that laugh means. Yeah. Oh. 40 pounds, 4 ounces. Is that 40 pounds, 4 ounces? <laughs> Go on. That's right, it is so long, that fish. Better get some water. It's okay. Look at the size of that. 40 pounds, 4 ounces. For my first German bite. 3 o'clock in the morning. Over a load. I did end up putting out quite a bit. Of Steve's 12 mil monster tiger, that pre soaked boilers and three or four tins of corn over a shallow area. You're behaving lovely, ain't you, mate? But you can see with the length of that, when I lifted it to that, it just went wallop. Mate, that tail is something else. <laughs> Look at the paddle it's on an that. Enormous fish, mate. I yeah. mean, the French ones are usually deeper than they are long. This one, Look at it. That is one hell of a long fish. The head is massive. The fins are huge. That yeah. paddle is, I mean, it takes you 10 seconds to paint one of the arenas. It's going to grow big, mate. That is going to grow very big. Not that it isn't. 40 pounder <laughs> off the mark. Chuffed the bits after that long jump. Absolutely exhausted yesterday. If Stevie had one early into dark hours, yeah. I didn't even get up, to be honest. The lads were helping him out, but just so tired. There you go. Stick him down get some stills and we'll put you back with your mates. Thank you very much, Herman the German. Thank La you. Wow, what a beautiful morning, eh Ian? It's been only, you know what, when you're really, really tired, I love carp fishing, I know he does behind that camera. Sometimes you need a good night's kip. Well, we haven't had that <laughs> because the German fish have responded. I've been up nigh on 40 hours. <laughs> 
And the German fish have responded well to our English tactics and kept us up most of the night. So um, we've had fish to just over 40 pounds and we've got a couple more to weigh yet. So happy days, mate. Happy, happy days. days. And the Germans have one as well. <laughs> What was that, Ian? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. What I'd have flying with? <laughs> I thought I'd have flying with tea. Um, one of the German crew are playing a fish as we speak. <laughs> Happy days. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that for a sunrise. If it wants to uh, focus, and it doesn't. Oh yes. Stevie, what have we got? Maybe this one for the future, this one. I think it's, this was the one you were using as perch bait. Yeah. No, it's a cracker, mate, isn't it? If they're going to be small, they need to look like that, mate, don't Beautiful. they? Absolutely brilliant. Go on, darling. Go on, darling. And we got one a little bit bigger to show got you. One a little bit bigger over there or somewhere, hidden in the reeds. Right, Stevie grabbing his third fish of the morning. Mad spell, Stevie. Yeah. Oh, well, actually, it was one in the night and two since daylight. Yeah. Solid bags. We've had one each off the baited area. And Steve launching solid bags about 19 miles up that lake. <laughs> Up there somewhere in the yonder. He's definitely scored two fish. Yeah. A 20 and a double. This is a... Uh, oh no, this is on solid bag, isn't it? Yeah, the better this one. This is the better one. Long spot. Well, for you it was. I ain't got any on long spot. We can't cast that for us, Stephen. <laughs> but this is a nice one. She's going to weigh a bit more than the others that Steve's had. What do you reckon, in? What's your guess? I think she's about the 30 pound mark, yeah. mate. It's great, though. Pardon? A scraper. Yeah. It's nice all the same, mate. 28. 28? Yeah. You're weird, man. When I, I lifted that out and said there's a 30, you went, ah, 28. I did say 28. You, you did say 28. <laughs> you, you fish too many matches. Stop it. Go pleasure fishing. <laughs> I did the other day, I had 2,000 at You did, mate. I saw them and all. Two blimmin' netfuls. Right. Right, there we are. That Look at is that with the pucker, mate. Morning sun behind us. I see that thing there, that big shiny thing. And there's Stevie, 28 pounds. What did you have in the night? A mid 20. A mid 20. And, and a little double. A low double this morning. So, yeah, yeah like I said, 40 hours up driving non-stop. I was <laughs> looking forward to a good night's sleep, but I just couldn't resist getting them rods straight back out. Uh, took my lines out a couple of times, but you know you've got to put the effort in, and you'd be rewarded. Well, we're fish not here like long this. enough, are we, to lay back, I think, mate? I think they say you can sleep when you're dead. So uh, as long I as don't it's even in, joke about as that. As long we've... as it's not in a ditch by <laughs> this, the side of a road. This, this time tomorrow, we'll be loading the van and go home again. Let's Quick go to Germany night. for two nights fishing. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's been worth it. It's been yes, worth it. Yes, mate. And the lads are brilliant, to be fair. Oh, cool. He's a real good lad. Them old banks, they look, they look a bit sturdy, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> I use my new spirit level. <laughs> <laughs> They're in the ground about three inches, aren't they? Yeah, they <laughs> It's like concrete. Ooh. Jetson. After a sleepless night with plenty of carp, it was time to go to work. Filming content with the German team and one very special guest in particular, Claudia. Uh, no, uh, can you go a little bit higher than that? Right. <laughs> okay. Are we on, Stevie? We're on. Is that camera working, Stephen? I think so. I think it is. Right. Mid. Well, it's actually late morning now. Long journey. Very tired. Probably want to sleep all night, not a chance. Um, Steve's had three fish, I've had one, because he always beats me because he's a match angler, isn't he? But 
I've got to say, all three of his didn't weigh as much as my one. <laughs> now, he's going to shake the camera now in, in denial of that. Absolutely. Um, it, it, I mean, what a start. Uh, my first German fish, 40 pound, four ounces. Steve, in all fairness, Steve's had a double and two two good 20s, didn't yeah, they? So we had four fish in one night. Minutes. Doing it totally different, as we'll go through at some stage. Couldn't be more different, the tactics we're employing. But yeah, this morning's lovely because it's freezing cold. We've got a northerly wind. We, we came all the way from cold England thinking we we're going to be in shorts and t-shirt and it, it apparently according to the missus it's nice right. in England but I spoke to Debbie this morning at 7 a.m. okay English time obviously and she said oh it's clear blue skies it's really warm already that's lovely isn't it look at this fluffy hat yeah my, coat. my cro well my crocs are still on but the shorts have been replaced for several long oh legs God, yeah. <laughs> it's a northerly but it's, it's good carp fishing weather. We've got one more night and we're off early tomorrow morning. So hopefully, I'd rather have the one bite and it be a whopper and Steve can fill his keep net. So we'll keep him informed. That keeps we us both on. happy like And this. now Steve, when he puts that thing down, he's gonna do the ultimate wraps. You've seen these before on the orchid one. They are something else. So, bye bye. Good, right. to, good to meet you. It's lovely to meet you. Good luck. It was also nice to meet you Good guys. luck, my friend. So. You know, me and Ian mentioned the old breakfast wraps. If you've watched our... What, what video? The orchid. It was on the orchid, orchid one, one. yeah. What did I offer? Crumpets. <laughs> and, you, and you just went... Like yeah, that. I don't know. So we've got the first step. Get the sausages on the go. You the want, you want chipolatos. Chipolatos? And then we get the bacon, the eggs, in the wrap. Tommy sauce. Tommy sauce. Tommy sauce, black pepper. Because you can see we are working yeah. extremely hard. Look at all this equipment. Look at all this. This will give you a, just a tiny little hint of what Steve's caught his fish on. Can you guess <laughs> what I've been catching? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the state of that lot, mate. Solid bay. Landing a fish here is a two man job because all this weed is all the way up your line, yeah. not washing line. And you try reeling that in through your rings, not happening. It is so, horrendous. So we've both been up. Longer than we should have been. We've well, just had breakfast, but more food time. Good afternoon. What have we got here then? Cheese. After getting some more filming in the bag, we had our arms bent once again. This time by the French for some cheese and wine. One of the German anglers even managed to carp in the middle of the social. Single solids, hasn't really been day bites, we didn't really think. Been out day, more nighttime area, but the rods are in. He's got a shot. Is that a frog? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I thought they in France, let alone blooming Germany. A frog! <laughs> just where my lines are in, mate, isn't it? They just kite everywhere, don't they? Five minutes later. Yeah, you know, it is so, isn't it? I'm all perfect, and then I'll be making <laughs> <laughs> Alright, little evening update. We've been had a busy afternoon doing some filming, had a nice social with the French, well, a couple of the French guys and the rest of the German oh, guys. Do you, nearly, do you know what I'm saying? We're in Germany. We are in Germany. I don't know if you know where we are, but we're in Germany. Yes, we had Michael and Max turn up from the head honchos, uh, which was half the reason for the journey, for a meeting on the bank. And we had about an hour's uh, siesta, actually, because needed. we were up in the night um, catching carpets. Carps, catching the carps. Great trip. For, for, I was just literally just saying to Steve, we've made the best uh, of what could have been a bad trip, because yeah. it's been a long, tiring journey. 
beautiful place you arrive at. The guys are brilliant. We're going to go and have a barbecue in a minute, then do our Instagram live. Uh, and if you're not here with good friends, it's easy to go, Steve, shut up. No, no, Steve, no, no, no. <laughs> But we haven't. We haven't. We, <laughs> that's a private joke, by the way. Um, but we haven't done that. It's been really brilliant. We've got one more night. I'm sure we get a fish. Well, I don't actually care. I've got because I caught a massive one. Steve, um, I'd rather Steve catch him than me in the night. But we've got a night ahead of us, and we are going to bust off home, uh, homeward bound, early in the morning. So um, hopefully we'll catch. Well, you'd all better better when, have when, been on Instagram Live. When do we get our world Guinness World Record uh, certificate for longest? Well, Trip I've emphasised this on Instagram that we've done like a thousand miles away. Well it's going to be by the time we get yeah. back, a long, long, you know, you need to do tyres on the van, um, uh, for two nights fishing from 3 pm until probably about half seven in the morning <laughs> and we're going home again. But the short time we've been here, we've met some great guys, had a good time, caught some nice fish. Ducks. Um, do you know what I've noticed, right? Last week I was in France and the frogs make. Frog noises. Yeah, watch right? this. Millions of them, right? Ian, Ian. Mind the camera behind you, Steve. Here, they all sound like they've got. Some... I was doing that earlier. Do, I didn't, quite, I didn't quite get that. Do that again. They all sound like they've got a sore throat. They really don't, don't they, Steve? What? They sound you, like they've got a sore throat. Why don't you talk to that one again? Well, he's he's probably having a, a siesta. siesta. But he was communicating with me. So France, they make proper croaky noises, and um, and here they don't. They clearly all smoke. They've got they've got a sore throat. So, but also here they're not in fear of being eaten. Yeah, in France, so, if you're a frog, that's a danger. You've got no legs, mate. You've got Zimmer frames. If you're if you're in France, you're a frog. Aren't you? <laughs> right, we're gonna uh, catch you in a bit. We're gonna go and have a ba -ba 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 barbecue now. <laughs> Lovely barbecue. No, 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 no. <laughs> and that is private. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy, oh. ladies and gentlemen. Wow, Ian, for me, that has got to be the craziest 48 hour session I've ever done. All right? It was bizarre though, Steve, because I only ended up on the one car. I had a tench this morning early. The different tactics we done, English style tactics we done, showed, didn't it? You know, the way you, you fish it, which you'll come up with. But, um, what, you know, when this trip come up, it was like, it's a long way, isn't it, for a couple of days. And we both were, were like that in the van on the way here, we were flagging. It's been fantastic. We've had some marvellous fish, we've met some really lovely people, seen the bosses as well from um, Top Crit. Uh, great time. Mega barbecue last night. That uh, boy behind the camera should be a chef. Barbecue chef. A chef, a, 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 a packerer, a, an, a an egg chef. A van packer upper, <laughs> an egg flipper, and mate, just brilliant. We've had a, we've had a lovely time. Uh, now, unfortunately, well, fortunately and unfortunately, unfortunately for our families, but fortunately for us, we're going to hit the road in the next 10 or 15 minutes and uh, make our way back to good old Blighty. So, upwards and onwards. Peace out. <laughs>